In this video, I'll show you how you can create a points-based reward system in Notion that helps you keep track of student participation in class. Tracking participation isn't as straightforward as recording homework assignments or even test scores. But monitoring a student's engagement in class is just as important, or if not more important, than a test score on a page. So let me show you a fun and easy way you can use Notion to observe student participation over time. All right, to begin, we're going to start off with a new page, and we can call this Student Rewards. Now, the first database we're going to create is a database for students. So we can title this students. And the first property we're going to add is a number property. And so the number property will be for points. I'm going to type on number here. We'll click on points, maybe give it a star icon. And now we have student and points. Let's add in a student here just for an example. We'll title this Milo. The next two properties we are going to add are button properties. And these buttons will be used to add or remove points. So we'll scroll down to button here and we can call this add. Let's give it an add icon, maybe something like this. Plus, that looks good. We'll go into edit automation. We're going to change the title of the button here. We'll click on plus five and we'll add in a star. So it looks kind of pretty. Now, when we click the button, we're going to click on new action. So when this button is clicked, it is going to do a new action. So the action we want it to do is to add points to our points property. So we're going to go on to edit property here. We're going to click on points. We're going to click custom formula, and then we're going to click this page. Then we'll click dot. This will allow us to select properties within this page where we have activated the button. We'll click on points, and then we're going to add five points to this property. There we go. And that's all we should have to do. Let's click on save. Now, every time we click on plus five, you can see that it will add five points to our points property. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for a remove button. And to do this, we can just duplicate our add property here. We're going to change the name to remove. Let's change the icon as well to a minus symbol. We'll go into the edit automation and instead of plus five, we can go into minus five, click save, and we'll change the title as well. Click on save here. Great. And so now we have two buttons, one to add five points and one to remove. Now, obviously you don't have to do five point increments. You can adjust this to whatever you want just by changing the, well, the title of the button and the increment within the Notion formula. Now we can also make the points property look a little bit nicer. We can go into edit property, click on bar, maybe change it to yellow because that has that kind of sparkly a yellow look. Then we can change the divide by to something high like a thousand. I mean, this is completely arbitrary, but I just think a thousand looks good because every time you add points, you can see that number bar increase there. So this is just a very basic way to incorporate some kind of point system. But now we're going to kind of create a type of participation system as well that can also add or even remove points to our student. So let's create a new database here. We'll type in slash data and we will call this participation. We will also add a point or number property for points to this database as well. So we'll click on number. We'll call this points and we'll give it the same icon here for a star. Great. Now, the idea of this participation database is that we could add in kind of moments of participation. So we could say, oh, Milo participated well in class today. And then we can award maybe like 100 points. And then we would like these points to be added to our student. And so in order to connect the participation database to the student's database, we need to use something called a relation property. So we'll click on plus here. We'll scroll down to relation. We'll click on students. 
and we'll just call it student, that's fine. Two-way relation, so student database can also communicate with the participation database and we'll click on add relation here. Great, now let's full page, full width this here so we can get a better view. And now we can connect the two databases together. So if I click on student, I can select our student Milo here and we can see that now in the student's database under participation, we have our new kind of participation note appear here. Let's, so let's maybe just slide this over here, make it look a little nicer. Okay. Okay. But you may have noticed that these 100 points here in participation did nothing to our student database. And so we need to add a new property. So to do this, we're going to change our original points database and we're going to call this base points. We're then going to add a new property, which is going to be a formula property. And this is going to add the participation points with the base points. So let's go down to formula. We can call this total points now. We'll change the icon to a star here. Okay, let's just slide this over here. Let's go into edit property. We'll go into edit formula here. Okay, so with this formula, we would like to take all of the kind of participation entries that are tagged to the student, get the points, sum up all of those points, and then add them to the base points. And so we're gonna click on participation here. We're gonna click on dot, which allows us to kind of, kind of interact with this relation property. We're gonna type on map, then click on current. And so this is going to kind of take our student Milo and map out all of the participation entries, type in dot, and we will select points. And so this will take all of the participation entries that are tagged to our student and just find the points. We then want to sum up these points. So we'll click on dot, sum, and the brackets, and then we can finally add them to the base points. So we'll click this here. Okay, click on save. And we can see now that our total points is 180. So base points 80 plus our participation for 100. Now let's make our participation look the same as the base points. So we can go into edit property. We'll go to number format, bar, yellow, maybe a thousand. Okay, that's cool. And then we can just remove or hide the base points. I'm going to first click on edit base points. I'm just going to change it back to number here. And then I'm going to hide the base points because all we really care about are the total points. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's now add in maybe another example. So if I click on to participation here, I can say add a great presentation in class. Great. And I can tag our student and then add in some points. And we can see as soon as we add in 50 points, our total points here changes. But you probably already noticed that manually adding entries to this participation database is a little bit slow. And so we're going to add a new button to our students database that is going to add an entry to the participation database. So we're going to click on the plus sign here. We'll go down to button. We're going to click on add note. Let's go to edit automation. I'm going to change this title. We're going to go plus and maybe add like a little paper symbol here. Okay. Now what we would like this button to do when we click it is to add an entry to the participation database and then tag it to our student. Once that is done, we want it to open up so we can type in our note and give it some points. So we're going to click on new action. We're going to add page two. We're going to select our participation database, which is right here. We're going to leave the name blank. Let's go to edit property, edit student, because we would like this new participation note to tag to this specific student. And we'll click on this page here. And then we want this to open up. So we'll click on open page and you can either click on, oh, let's click on this page added. And then we can either do this in center peak or side peak. I personally like side peak, but it's up to your preference. I wouldn't choose full page four for this. Okay, let's click on side peak and we'll click on save. Great. So now I'm going to move this note all the way to the left and I'm going to make this really small. You can see here I can't, this is the smallest I can make it, but a little notion trick is if you hold alt, we're going to make it just like that. 
Good. And so now we have a little button here that we can quickly add a participation note to. So let's do, let's add another. We'll click this. It pops up here. We can type in worked well in a group. Well done. And then we'll give maybe 20 points and then we can close this off. And so with this kind of button next to a student name, you can really quickly add notes of participation uh, quickly. Okay, so let's now clean up this page just a little bit. Let's add in some headers here. We're going to call this students, and then we're going to remove our database title here. We're going to do the same for participation. Move this down here. Participation. Remove the heading as well. Let's also hide this participation property here, hide in view. Okay, that looks good. And then we're also going to add a property to our participation database. We're gonna click on created time. So we know when this student received this participation note. We're gonna click on sort as well. I'm gonna click created time and do descending here. And so we can see the most recent note at the top. Okay, let's also add a few more students just for this example. So we can click on new here, we'll type in Andrew, Emily, I don't know, sir. And so here you can just quickly add in points if you need. Also add in notes, did, did a great job today. I'm sure you are more creative than, than me right now with these note titles, 100 points. There we go. And you can see you can now quickly add participation notes and points in kind of a fun way. Now, one final thing we're going to do with this template is change the student template to show off these points in a little nicer way. So we're going to click on one of these student pages. We'll come up to the top here and click on customize layout. In customize layout, we're going to click on the heading and we're going to click on pin add note. So we're going to pin the add note button to the top here. And so we can easily add in a participation note quickly when we're viewing a student page. Then if we just click onto an empty space here, we're going to click on tabbed structure. We're going to add another view here. I'm going to click on participation. Let's then remove this student property here. And then we will move the points to the middle here. Let's we can shorten this up a little bit, and then we're gonna add the same sort as we did on the previous page, where we sort by created time, and we click on descending. Great, and that's all we have to do for that tab. Let's go back to the content tab. We're gonna click on this property group here. Now, since we have the participation database showing in one of these tabs, we can hide this participation relation property here. So we're gonna click on participation. I'm gonna click on add to layout. Now it's in its own kind of box here. Click on the three dots and we're gonna click on advanced and convert to relation group. Great. We're then going to come to the right here and we're going to ch click show as minimal. And there we go. We have hidden all of the relations, the participation database here. Let's go back to our property group at the top here. We're going to add in a section and we're going to title this rewards. Great. We have our base points. We actually don't really need to see this. So we could also hide this as well. Always hide. And now our total points. We want to be able to see this nice and big at the top. So we'll click on total points. We'll click add to layout. Let's move it up to the top there. Great. We'll click on apply to all pages. And now whenever we click on a student, click on open, we can now see their points at the top here. We can also add or remove points quickly. We can also see their participation notes as well over time with the most recent one showing up at the top here. Great. And I find this is just a really fun, easy way to keep track of student participation. If you want, you could share these points with your students or just keep these for your own reference. Now, if you like this template and you would like to see more Notion templates for teachers, go and check the link in the description down below.